Hey, what is up guys? It's me, Mr. Gim here. Today, I have another exciting unboxing for you. This is the Samsung Tab A6 7.0 inch, which came out around 2016. This product is still selling in the market. No updates or anything in terms of design and hardware. So the question is, is this still relevant in 2019? Let's check it out. Today, in this digital world, everybody is carrying a digital device, be it a smartphone, a tablet, or a laptop around. Everybody seems to be very busy on the go. A phone is too small to carry around. A 9.7 inch iPad seems to be a bit too big. So, for people who want something bigger than the phone but smaller than an iPad, this product comes in handy. So, before we even go in depth, let's check out our website. So, they branded this as chic and modern all around. Feather light and slim, cherish every moment, and also more time and space for work and play. So all these are the marketing tools that market this product back then in 2016. Of course, right now in the tech world, everything has already moved so much more advanced, such as much faster processor, better camera. So who is it exactly to buy this product then? Well, people who have family and you want to buy a, your kids a new tablet and all that, I think this is one of the best value you can get it because there's this kids mode. You can just limit what they are doing within their app itself. This retails for $256 with 8GB of storage. That is a cellular version. Now you would think that 8GB, how do you survive? Fade not because you could expand up to 200 gig with an external micro SD slot so the space is not an issue for you so let's get to the unboxing leaving out the lips and getting to the tablet you can see the version that i have is a black color one before we are red let's get to the accessory first first up we have the warranty card right on top of the lid so next we have this quick start guide which gives you all the information that nobody reads well um probably people will there's also a mandarin version so underneath this there's this uh 3.5 mm headphone jack by Samsung, a power adapter, also a micro USB cable. This is just a really basic travel adapter by Samsung, which the output is not the fast charging kind. And and yes, we also have this very old school Samsung headphone, which they put it inside a Ziploc bag, which is a very horrible presentation, but nevertheless, they still include in the package. Powering up for the first time, so let's take a closer look on the design. A few things to my notice here is that they are still using a physical home button. The volume control and sleep and wake button is on the right side of the device. On the left hand side, you will see a SIM tray and also a micro SD slot. Both of them, you will just need to use your finger to pop them open. So at the back of the device, you will see a camera module in the middle and also the speaker grill on the side. So below of the device, you will see a microphone hole just right below the buttons. So go over to the top, you'll find yourself an output speaker and also a front-facing 2.0 megapixel camera. Let's get this device set up and I will fast forward this portion. So for this device, there's no touch ID or no face ID like what Apple has. So in order for you to protect your device, there's only passcode or draw a pattern to unlock your device. So let's get more into geeky stuff. The CPU benchmark score for single core is 396, whereas the multi-core score about 1027, and the battery scores about 1900. In this age, this device considered slow. But not to forget, this device was created in 2016. But it's still usable for you if you are doing YouTube, browsing website, or even watching movie on the go. This device actually works very well. So this is a good supporting secondary devices, you can have it. 
because the size is small enough for your one hand gesture it's only 187 mm by 108 the depth is only 8.7 width is just 280 gram internet usage for 3g is up to 8 hours video playback at 9 hours audio playback at 87 hours so it can also be your audio device when you bring it up for work so i want to push this device a bit further which i download a game called mobile legend and start playing on it it can be played but i'm losing frame rate while i'm playing so the experience is not as smooth as the latest device out there right now so i believe if let's say you are playing angry bird flappy bird or whatever game that doesn't require such a high intense graphic it should be fine so right now let's look at the photo of course they are only captured in 5 megapixel so don't expect much detail to be inside there if you let's say you are scanning document or whatever things this camera could still work so the next two photo is captured from the front facing camera it's terrible it's for video call i'm not sure because i'm an apple user so facetime is very easy to use if you're an android user and you know what app they use for facetime let me know in the comment section below so right now i'm actually recording through my tab device on my timeline for the latest post you can as you can see this is the time frame effort bro so the last video is actually recorded through the tab and you can hear my voice through the tab it's a very low quality but it still gets the job done if you need to capture certain things these things doesn't have this uh, hybrid zoom or whatever zoom the furthest they can go is just 2.0 so that's the furthest that they can go there's this sudden color shift i'm not sure what happened there but this is how it records of course, if let's say you have any happy moments, your phone is running out of battery and you can use your tap device to capture the moment. Alright guys, so what's the bottom line for this? If you want to use this device in 2019, who will I recommend for? Technically, it's for everybody. People who are not fussy about the speeds and all that, they still can do the basic stuff very well. And definitely not for gamer because the frame rate is just going to ruin your mood. Alright guys, that's the end of my video. If you like this video, please let me know with a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Okay, thanks, bye!